hey everyone welcome back in this video we are going to be creating the apple hello style animation inside of the fusion page in davinci resolve now it's not going to look exactly the same uh, for the colors they will look different because uh, this is just a hack there is no uh, way to map out gradients on a path in fusion first of all you need to visit the figma file i got the design or the text from here i exported this as an svg file for the animation actually this is not how the text looked so if i go to file show version history should be able to get back to the older design that this is how it looked used to create this particular design now you can export these as svg files inside of uh, fusion but they will take up a lot of nodes and it might be confusing and you can uh, you know create a gradient on every stroke separately which will give you you know more control over the design but again that process will take a lot of time so i combine these shapes together so let's uh, select all and right click and click on flatten so this will combine all these shapes into one single shape and if you double click you can see there is the shape and it's a single line stroke which will be easy for us to animate now if you export this as svg if i go to my fusion fusion import svg then you are actually going to notice that these are still a lot of nodes i think this is how it's going to look so that's a lot of nodes to work with that's not ideal solution let's delete this what i ended up with doing was uh, i took this svg file and brought it into inkscape here i just adjusted the path a little so if i go to view display mode to and set it to outline you can actually see the reason for the large number of nodes in fusion is because let me just undo this and this is because of this disconnection in the in the path over here so you can fix this by selecting the points and combining them if i select these two nodes these are called nodes in inkscape and i can combine these together by clicking on this join selected nodes icon or the button over at the top and i'm using the node tool so if i click on that you can see that connects the path and you have to sort of repeat this process wherever you see the disconnection so if i go over here connect these two then it will result in this node and i might have to stretch it a little something like this and you have to do this wherever there is this disconnection and create a single line stroke there should be no disconnection and this is exactly what i did in my other design over here go to view display mode set this to outline you can see that i have removed the disconnection it's now a single line stroke and if you want to use this svg file this particular svg file i'll just leave that in the description if you want to test that out but if you want to let's just delete this and if you want to create your own sort of text or you want to use your own name you can grab in a text over here and like type in something i don't know hello and you can use a script font and use something like i think i have a script font called meow script i'm going to increase the size and now with the polygon mask you can start tracing around this text and you can move the points around and you know control the path and you have to kind of trace the entire text using the polygon mask what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to use this svg file that you created in inkscape right so let's go to fusion at the top import and import svg and i'm going to find this svg that we exported from inkscape if you expand this you will see that there are only two paths in here and that's because we combined all the paths that were separated into one single stroke great so let's take this out from the group over here i'm gonna hit Control x Control v take this path Control x and Control v like so merge these or connect these two together after this we will use a fast noise and connect this path to the fast noise with the fast noise we can kind of control the colors easily for the fast noise if you take a look at it 
it will stretch the text is because it's 1920 by 1080 but in the original design it's 1068 by 350 so let's just use that value and check auto resolution in 36 by 350 great so now you can delete this and in the fast noise we will go to color and use gradient you can pick any color from here if i go with red and blue and something like a yellowish orangish in the middle the next uh, thing is we will animate the path so let's go to the first frame and we will animate path one over here and for the animation we will set the length to zero so that we only have this circle shape and we will animate the position so create a keyframe there go to frame 100 and set the position to one so your animation will move along the path like this but as you can see at the very first frame it's kind of already visible so we want to hide it at the very first frame so set the level to zero at the very first frame create a keyframe if you hit the right arrow key you'll jump to the next frame which is frame one set the level to one over here so the animation looks something like this and also what we want to do is we want to create a little animation on the length as well so create a keyframe at the very first frame set it to zero and then let's go to 10 frames forward in time and we will increase the length a little bit so something like 0 0.03 and we have to hide the path over here as well so go to frame 100 create a keyframe on level go to frame 101 and set the level to zero and you have to repeat this process for the second path over here so we go to frame let's see uh, let's go to frame 95 create a keyframe on level set this to zero go to frame 96 set it back to one and from 95 i want the length to be zero and we will keyframe both these position and the length let's go to frame 120 we'll set the position to one and if we go to frame 105 let's also increase the length a little bit so we'll use the same value 0 0.03 so if you select these two and also let's just um, you know make it disappear this circle shape so let's go to the last frame um, of this animation which is one frame 120 this is where our last keyframe is on the position create a keyframe on level set that one let's go to frame 121 and set it back to zero so it looks something like this and then it will disappear select these two paths go to spline select all like so zoom to fit and then click on select all and hit f on the keyboard to smooth that out your animation will look something like this all right so the next step is after the fast noise we will add in the duplicate search for it click on add uh, let's view this and we will increase the number of copies to 400 and set the time offset to negative one and this will give you the entire text back like so and if you notice this it's set to flat cap but you can change this in the path you can set this to round yeah this is how it will look and there is some issue over here so let's try and fix that if you go to the path and move the keyframes around you will be able to fix it make sure it comes over here all right something like this and yeah that should get rid of it okay great so let's hide the keyframes panel now the next thing that we want to do is we'll go to the fast noise and change the colors uh, right now it's static so if i right click on the gradient click on perturb and let's go to modifiers over here and you can start messing around with the strength and the wobble as well this will kind of give you gradient colors now if you go to the duplicate and make sure you check this box it says merge under and this will kind of create this overlapped look into the design and that will kind of really sell the effect for us so let's go to the fast noise and this is uh, where you will spend most of your time play around with the different interpolation space over here and see which one works best for you over here you can change it to linear that will also kind of give different results and let's go to the modifiers over here and if you don't like the colors you can click on reseed 
couple of times you will get different set of colors maybe you want to change some color you can do that over here select any gradient stop and change the color so this is what we have so far right now if you see uh, some lines appearing in the design over here as you can see uh, you can go to the duplicate and enable motion blur on it and that will kind of smooth that out this is just a hack we don't have the option to map out the gradients on a path in fusion but maybe in the future there is an option for this after the duplicate i will just add in a background so we'll add in a merge as well take a look at it and it's still this resolution if i right click on the merge swap inputs it will take the resolution of this background and i can kind of change the color and all that stuff and we have our animation ready hope this video was helpful hope you learned something new if you did do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one